Japan's Maritime Self-Defense Force Destroyers JS Akabano take part in a joint military drill with U.S. Navy in the East China Sea. The U.S. Navy has announced on Friday that amphibious assault ship USS America, La 6, and Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force Destroyer JS Akabano conducts joint operation in the East China Sea. America, the flagship of the America Expeditionary Strike Group, 31st Marine Expeditionary Unit Team, is operating in the U.S. 7th Fleet Area of Operations to enhance interoperability with allies and partners and serve as a ready response force to defend peace and stability in the Indo-Pacific region. The Navy's newest amphibious assault ship, America was designed from the ground up to include expanded flight operations capability that allows for greater interoperability with the Marine Corps F-35B Lightning II aircraft. F-35's mission is to attack and destroy surface targets, intercept and destroy enemy aircraft, provide electronic warfare support, and network-enabled reconnaissance support across the full spectrum of combat operations. It has an autonomous capability to strike a broad range of moving or fixed targets, either day or night and in adverse weather conditions. These targets include air and ground threats, as well as enemy surface units at sea and anti-ship or land attack cruise missiles and it can complete the entire kill chain without reliance on external sources by using fused information from its onboard systems and or other F-35s. USS America, La 6, is steaming towards waters in the South China Sea where a Chinese government survey ship and its China Coast Guard escorts are in an international maritime dispute with Malaysia. As of Saturday, America was operating with at least five Marine F-35B Lightning II fighters as well as MV-22BS tilt rotors and CH-53 helicopters as part of the typical Marine air combat element configuration aboard. The amphibious warship, with the aircraft carrier USS Theodore Roosevelt temporarily sidelined in Guam. America is currently the most significant operational naval asset the U.S. Navy has in the region as China flexes its maritime presence. The Chinese are operating in disputed waters about 200 nautical miles off the coast of East Malaysia that are claimed by Malaysia, Vietnam, and China. The region is believed to be mineral rich and has been an active area of contention since the drill ship West Capella, under contract to Malaysia's state oil company, Petronas, began exploration activities in October. The Malaysian exploration triggered a flurry of patrols and presence operations by China Coast Guard and maritime militia ships. Vietnamese Maritime Militia Ships and Ships of the Royal Malaysian Navy and Malaysian Maritime Enforcement Agency, also known as the Malaysian Coast Guard. China Coast Guard ships have also been maintaining a continuous presence at the Laconia Shoals, which lies in Malaysia's exclusive economic zone and is also claimed by China. These ships have also made patrols close to Malaysian oil platforms and Malaysia's ease. Despite all the activity, no at sea incidents have been reported and all three governments are content to keep matters out of the public eye. Malaysian Maritime Enforcement Agency Head Admiral Zibel Matsam confirmed to Malaysian media on April 16 that Haiyang Z8 had entered Malaysia's East and that the ME was monitoring the ship and indicated the ship was operating legally. The Malaysian Foreign Ministry and Defense Ministry declined to comment to the press. Over the weekend, the U.S. called out China's bullying actions related to the ship, According to a report in Reuters, the United States is concerned by reports of China's repeated provocative actions aimed at the offshore oil and gas development of other claimant states. The U.S. State Department said in a statement over the weekend, China should cease its bullying behavior and refrain from engaging in this type of provocative and destabilizing activity.